So we could start out the video like this, but I'm kind of thinking uh, I should probably turn this off. So anyone who is like moderately advanced with OBS Studio, like you turned on the advanced setting at the top, you're going a little crazy. You know that there are different rate control settings in OBS. Now, the most common one is constant bitrate, but there is also CQP, which is constant quality profile, and VBR, which is variable bitrate. We'll forget about lossless. It's not really worth it here. Many, many people use constant bitrate, very popular. And that's because when you're like streaming or recording video, your system and any other system that's going to knows exactly what bitrate it is at any time in the recording. Services like Twitch and I think YouTube also require you to use constant bitrate because when you're streaming to your live streaming to them, they need to know how much bandwidth they need to allocate for that live stream. So they need a constant bitrate, even if it could be more efficient as a variable bitrate. This, when you're recording locally, you can use things like CQP and VBR. Now I'm gonna explain VBR first. So what VBR is, variable bitrate, is you pick a bitrate, your target bitrate, and your max bitrate is, it's going to dynamically change how much bitrate it uses whenever it needs more bits. So when there's a lot of details on screen, it's going to jump all the way up to the max bitrate. Say I was recording on variable bitrate and it's just my screen right here, right? Variable bitrate would be awesome because there's barely anything changing on my screen. So it can basically drop that bitrate all the way down and the file would be super small. CQP is basically the simpler version of variable bitrate. Instead of like picking specific numbers, what you do is you just pick a quality profile and then it tries to dynamically adjust the bitrate to try to hit the same quality relative to the source footage. I know that can be kind of confusing and I don't know exactly how these numbers scale, but I found that 24 looks pretty good and the files aren't ginormous with it. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing CQP to CBR. I have two files here. One is a constant bitrate file and one is a constant quality profile. And I know I did say that variable bit rates can technically be smaller, but that all depends on the bit rate that you're recording at for constant bit rate anyways. So in this case, CQP file is actually bigger. It is 1.5 gigabytes, whereas the CBR file is 1.2 gigabytes. I typically record in CQP and that might be changing today after the information we learn. And I took this same file and I re-rendered it out in DaVinci Resolve into a CBR file. These are the exact same recording. So what we can do is hop into Resolve and test how these are in video editing. I've got these clips in here. You can see that they're the same clip do some scrubbing tests because you're you're scrubbing a lot in video editing. And then what we're going to do is do a quote unquote quick edit where we chop up the footage just a little bit, get some cuts in there. Cause sometimes whenever you cut footage and it has to jump in time, it can be straining on your, your encoders or your RAM or whatever it is exactly. The overlay in the bottom left corner over there show you when I'm pressing the buttons. So if you need to like do like a little comparison there. Quickly, I'm just going to click around the footage and see how long it takes. So the first clip here is the constant bitrate footage and the second clip is the CQP footage. It's gonna click around and wait until the video catches up. This is constant bitrate. Right when I see the frame, I'm trying to click it. And just so you know, the system that I'm running this on has a Ryzen 9 5900X and an RTX 3080 with uh, 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And then this, this footage, I'm recording through OBS right now on a different hard drive. So this footage is unaffected. So you can see that the constant bitrate footage is pretty consistent here. So let's skip over to the variable bitrate. See if I notice any stutters. There's a stutter there. Major stutter there actually, holy shit. You can definitely see, I'm trying to click as fast as I see the frame come in. And if you just look at the overlay in the bottom left, there is a clear difference about how fast I'm clicking. Let's go back over to the constant bit, right? So when you're video editing, there's a stutter there. When you're video editing, it is very, very important to be able to move quickly and know what what parts i'm on cqp right now um what parts of your footage are there's a big jump and you're trying to do a cut at a specific time 
and you don't know what footage is playing at that time because for some reason the video is not playing back properly. Okay, so now I'm gonna press the play button. I'm gonna see how these behave. We're back on the constant bitrate. So I'm gonna press play and be skipping while it's playing. This is way more straining on the system. This gives you audio feedback of when the video actually starts playing, so that's important. Okay, that's constant bit right. I do already notice like both of them stutter. And this is probably because they're on a hard drive. Um or because the encoder isn't catch up. Uh also something to mention, I'm on the free version of DaVinci Resolve which doesn't have hardware acceleration for video decoding. This is H.265 footage. Uh, the CBR footage seems more consistent. Um, the CQP is a little bit more inconsistent. And sometimes we'll have crazy jumps like that. That's probably like two seconds before it started playing. All right, so what I did is I simulated a semi-normal edit where you're doing a lot of jump cuts and stuff like that for like a youtube video compilation whatever you're doing this is just gameplay footage i also took a clip that is later on in the video and i inserted it into the middle of it and that one is indicated by the little marker here let's watch that when it comes up and then this is constant bit rate so let's see okay perfect cut there perfect cut okay, that is later in the footage Okay, perfect cut, okay. That was this, probably the hardest part. All perfect cuts. Okay, literally no hiccups there. Okay, so let's check out the CQP. That should, the CBR should be as good as it, as it will perform there, so. Okay, here's a later one. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It felt that it felt that that was a good cut there a little laggy there, but not that bad A little laggy there too a Little laggy there Not bad not bad honestly the CQP was not performing that bad at all What's interesting though is I tested this earlier and there was a clip in the CQP where it it, it like had one of these and it took so long to like realize what was going on that it skipped over an entire clip and went to the next one. Uh, I'll throw that footage up now, but <laughs> yeah, it was kind of bad. So, and when I was using CQP, I was like, uh, this footage seems kind of laggy sometimes, but I didn't know why exactly. I'm sorry about like the whole scene change, the, the consistency of the video garbage. I had to mention this because I didn't mention it in the recording. I do have a theory of why CQP or any variable bitrate is like weird when you do jumps in the video. And that's because like maybe it's at a different bitrate before the cut and then after the cut it's at a completely different bitrate. And that's when your system has to adjust to it for a little bit. And then you get that lag at the beginning and then it, it like comes in and it's good. That's my theory. So let me know if you have any thoughts on that below. Let's get back to it. If you are using CQP and you're editing that footage consistently, you might want to start using CBR or you could take the, the, con the quality profile footage. If you're recording a lot of footage, you need to be like really space efficient. Maybe you could make proxy footage to edit with so it is more consistent because when you're doing timing things and you run into issues like this yeah it's like how do you cut consistently when it lagged almost the entire clip look it's consistently bad too it's really hard to edit with that and it can be really frustrating and time consuming if you are using like cqp or vbr maybe you should consider using cb CBR, constant bitrate, for recording your videos just because of the easy use of video editing. But hopefully this was a helpful video for you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If we do this right now, I will fuck you up so, so bad like me. I know that I what you want, so give me a little time, give me a little time to see. I've been riding this high, I've been taking my time, I've been just trying to find really. But I know it ain't fine I've been pushing that line But I don't want you to say